How we doing, Anna? A little front facer. I see you. Am I in focus? Today we find out once and for all. Is the like a one incher? Same size as mine. Was I right about this camera? I wrote it off because the closest focusing distance, as you're witnessing, potentially, is off. And we compare it today. I got the other model that's not the one inch and the 360. I've never done that. We'll try that. And compare it to the GoPro 9, the Huawei P40 Pro, of course. And the Fimi Palm 2. Let's do this. All I want is the perfect camera. All I want is the perfect camera. So we're on the Insta 360R 1 inch Leica Edition. Right now it's handheld, fully stretched. Am I in focus? Because this was why, like, obviously, one inch action camera, are you kidding me? We just go for it. But then they didn't focus on the most important part my face. So am I in focus, handheld, because then it's pocketable. The little mic jack is tiny. That's perfect. Are you hearing it? Is it good? So I have a feeling. Why did I stop in a lampshade shade post? If we get it out there, am I now in focus? Oh, look at us. Look at us. Now, one super annoying thing about this in order to get the stabilization you're seeing, I had to download their app, which is like their own little DaVinci Resolve thing, and I have to render it first, every single file. Imagine the nightmares today. I'm gonna have to render all these different comparisons. Oh God, the wind. Wow. As we go into the shade, the low light performance, not even doubting itself. It looks dark. Hey. Oh, look at this art. Thumbnail, anybody? How does it handle the... <laughs> that blinded me. I can't see a damn thing now. Oh, I'm seeing flashes and stars. Is that my vegan diet? Or the light? It's a shame about the focus because, really, it's very innovative. This would be such a nice contained system, doing everything you would ever need. But the lens is a 14mm Tony 3.2. I don't know about that. That needed a two point. I lied to myself. It needs to be a 1.8 if we're being real. Then we get a slight separation. But right now, you're separating me in the wrong way from the background. The background's sharper. What kind of bullshit? How's the stabilization? Is it good? Or am I in focus? All right, let's compare it to something. GoPro 9? Hmm. Can you see a difference? We're both in 5K, by the way. 5.3K on the Insta. Take that, 0.3. The one thing on the Insta, did you guess it right? Ah. I have to crop later to add the stabe. So framing right now is a guess. I have to, oh, maybe don't go in the top. I could be top right up here. I could be doing this. You couldn't stop me. But now I have to be like, okay, make sure because it's going to top crop. Oh, God. The GoPro had so much potential. If only they could get their shit together, those damn surfers in California. Got popping audio. Every time I use this thing now, it's just popping audio. It's unusable. I can't use it for anything but scooter rides. And it's glorious for that. But is that enough? Does one appear to have a closer focusing distance? Which one is appearing to do that? Am I in focus in either one? Dynamic range test. They both look about the same on the screen. Which one of you are lying to me? Did you hear that in the audio? Uh-oh. So I'll compare this thing to each of my devices, and then we switch to the other one, which I think is in focus. But it's more like it's a small sensor. It's like a GoPro, which I should have compared to the shut your mom. Shut your mom. Now what's up? What's up now? Yeah, we got our own one inch sensor, don't we? Over there, kind of, almost, not really. It's close, the colors are weird. My black jacket's red, that's fine. If I go into the shade, I can turn it blue, I bet. Did I do that? 
I bet I did. We're on the phone. I was going to switch to the Femi Palm, realized I didn't have an SD card. I said that weird. I used it for the thing. Ah, God, I only have two. I suck at my job. Who handles exposure changes better? This is important information we're all learning today. I love learning. Who is more tonic? Yeah, that's right. I never even used this lens. I don't know why I'm trying it now. It's a stupid lens. The best sensor, but the dumbest lens and the dumbest colors. Who's stalking me? Wow, that was good content. Okay, here's with the wide now on the phone. There it is. That It should be so superior in my mind, I'm thinking it is. And the slow-mo, of course, is better. There's moments, like probably right now, with the sun, like... It's a dumb technique, it's my fault. But it shouldn't look that great. And direct, it's a little harsh. The colors are weird, but I think that wins. Is there anything you could beat right now if I battled you against anything? What could you beat? You're not in focus. What are you beating? Okay, now what's up? We got the, the not one-incher, the regular one. I should be in focus now. Insta360, all our friends have been put away. I suck at my job. The Femi Palm let us down. It was his fault. So now we in focus. Is there any tone it? So this is basically a GoPro replica, I would think. I figure we talk a little bit about the the new Insta360 Go 2 and why I'm not talking about it. Let's talk about that. It's too small. Why the hell? <laughs> It's kind of cool, like, it looks like it's better quality than the GoPro, it has better dynamic range. I watched Authentech's review, it's like, yeah, it looks alright, but it's so small, it has no mic jack. It's not for me, I don't need that thing. They focus too much on, look how tiny it is, it's like, just put something good in there. We're looking to increase the quality here. 10-bit, 1-inch sensor, better colors, better dynamic range, little slight tone of amounts. Mic jack right in there that I don't need a little dongle. This works, but it's sticking out a bit. What if somebody wanted to pass me on the right? She smartly went that way because she saw there was no path over here. It's like, how am I going to get around? She'd have to jump into the street, get hit by a car. I don't want that blood on my hands. I don't know if that go to needs to do all this stuff with the files. You pre-render it first and then you can, you're allowed to edit it. I don't like that kind of workflow. But this one, like, I imagine this is absolutely superior to the GoPro, to the DJI Pocket 2, the Femi Palm, right here. But because the sensor is so small, it doesn't excite me. If you already have something, even a DJI action, would you buy this and now you have to render your files first? I don't think so. I don't think so. But it's nice. It's fun. It's light. Mike Jack, hey. How was the slow motion? 200 frames per second. Not bad. You're inching closer, if I'm being honest with you. Running across the street's probably 60 frames max that you need. I push it a little hard sometimes. Um, I apologize. So let's try the 360 cam now. I don't even know how it works in the app. Hopefully I can figure it out. It's possible. I'm gonna assume this is working somehow. It's, it's showing me the other side. What? Does that flip it? There's a little switched lens. Didn't switch a damn thing. Oh, there it is. Oh, there we are. So now it just looks good. I don't have the invisible selfie stick with me. Should I have brought that? Are you seeing anything weird? Is this vlog potential possible? We're in 5.7K, 24P. Mic jack enabled. Flow state is ours. I think this would be cool on a scooter. You put the pole on somehow. I don't know how you'd attach it. 
and then it shows like your whole scooter and it looks like a drone is following you or running from you. Ah, you need to do that. I'm not sure how it all works. Is, it, is that invisible? Are you seeing a 360 degree? Where is it coming from? Can I point it anywhere? What if I point it completely away? It's up at the sky. Is that a vlog? Because it shouldn't really matter where you point it. I'm pointing it sideways to my face right now. How's that? Is that good? Is that good content? What if I just slowly rotate it around? I think that would be the best way to use this camera. Trust me, I have creative ideas. You don't get this way by going to school, kids. This is all art. I should technically be able to just film like that. It should still film my face as a vlog. I think it is doing that. And I'm impressed. I'm buying one. I love 360. This is the way of the future. It's definitely the way. This vlog sucks. Are they still in the shot? Are they in it? They crossed the street to avoid me. Is there a virus I should know about? I think I'm going to go home. I should be arrested. Wow. All right. What do you think? Is it better than I said it shouldn't be? Or worse? Let me know down below after you buy a Camera Conspiracies t-shirt. Subscribe for more videos. Stand like.